Oh, are we going to the gym? Gotcha. Guys, no. uh, what? pre workout. Cheers. You guys see that okay? Should I turn it upside Cheers. down, back side around? <laughs> All right, so what I got right now is my pre workout meal. Oh, it's already been in. Uh, You're good. Is it good. You're good. Oh, this is a little steamy. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that thing. Oh. So I'm going to eat this bad boy. Also, come on over here. Mom, would you mind doing my little of morning? What am I making here? Well, see, Mona does this beautiful thing where <laughs> every morning I come down at 3 a.m. It's got espresso ready. And don't worry, guys. The reason why I'm doing this is because the 30-day blitz is getting tough. So I need a little bit. Weak. <laughs> Are you getting a little juice on that face, buddy? Oh, yeah. So, um, this is day besides... Say what? Day 15. Day 15, yeah. That's the, that's the turning point, huh? That's the turning point. And, and the body did look stupid this morning in a good way. Um, and what she does is she puts in two scoops of my pump pro. You ready? <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Oh. You're hanging out with <laughs> Heath Evans too much. <laughs> He's getting his warrior paint on because it's leg day. I got this. Go. So. Two scoopies. Okay. Oh, look at this set. One, one, yep. and. Yeah, good focus. Two. Kiddo. You like that? Do you we'll want flip. this? Done. Flip Throw it in it. my cup. So, coffee. And, and I'll do this before the meal. Mm. Ah. Let's get all that in there. Yeah, that's good. Ah. Once you like that? You want to write on here? Uh, you can put, well, your name is on there already. So. All right, so again, training is tough right now just because it's 14th, 15th day in on the Blitz. So I'm adding a little bit more caffeine in there, which means we'll talk about it later, but we're coming out with a pump product number two, triple X. So you guys are going to love that. Oh, he's ready. He's trying to. Are you open doing it. yours? You're going to have some pump product too? Okay. Titan. Oh. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that kick in. I'm going to eat this burrito behind me and we're going to go train. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to give you this workout. There's some important stuff we're going to do at the end of the workout that you guys are going to love. All right. Hey, Mo, will you cut that burrito open to show these guys? Oh, yes. haven't seen this. Tell them about uh, vitamin shot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. First comment down below couple different things we have teamed up with vitamin shop um, so head down to your store pick up the pump product right now take a picture maybe in your store let me know what store it is um, and then tag me and I'm gonna repost you on my social media pages on top of that it's right there now for you yeah. on top of that we are putting the team together the Titan crew team for 2022 if you guys want to travel the world and get into the health and fitness world and start being there at the expos, get ready to get on the team, guys. I don't know why I opened this. I'm it's your to... team, kid. Oh, so, okay. so that's what we're doing. And here it is. <clears throat> okay, watch this. Are you ready for this, Jeff? Oh, I'm ready. I'm so hungry. <laughs> 50 grams of protein, 50 mm. grams of carbs. Great, especially for today, leg day. There we go, comes with a little sauce. All right, Titan. <laughs> All right, catch okay, you guys in a minute. Yep. Come here, come here. Oh, who's that right there? No, I don't mean Momo, I mean yeah. Striker. Hey, hey, how much better are the uh, trips to the gym with Striker? Much better. Come on. Much better. She's back also, you guys can see it's light out, so it's not 3 a.m. Uh, I want to jump back for a second to the very beginning of this video when I talk about the pre-workout. All different aspects of this and I don't make I make the product best for the majority not for one individual so it, the majority of people like non-stim that's why I made the non-stim that way everybody can do it or the majority society can do it now with that being said that's how I take it in the off season and what I mean by off season is oh, sorry about the light here guys um, in the off season of like when I'm not guest posing I'm not getting sliced to the bone um, when I'm just getting heavy I just need a little push a little you know umph i don't want to override what my natural body or mind should do so that's a huge thing I, I don't know if you understand this let me say it again i don't want to override you know you got the guys that come in and trust me 
I'll do this too, but just stay with me for a second. A lot of guys come into the gym and they're like this. I'm ready to train, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Great, that's awesome. If they've got enough common sense to not go stupid, I can do 600 a day. Dude, you've barely done 300 on deadlift. So I, I get it, you feel like you're on PCP or something, <laughs> but that's not it. Now, let me, let me say this to you guys so that you understand this. Is a meal better than a protein drink? Yes, it is. Is a protein better than a bad meal? Yes, it is. So with that being said, it's the same thing for the pre-workout. Mona can't do the pre-workout because um, it upsets, she's already, if you guys know Mona, Mona's already at 100% 24 seven. So I don't, <laughs> and she has her coffee. So she doesn't need to go over and above. Um, on top of that, Right now, I'm dieting hard, so how can I make it even better for me? I just had the coffee in there, some, some more caffeine to get going, plus the stimulants in the pump product, which helps me take my workouts to another level. So I just wanted to kind of give you that and, and tell you why I do what I do as of this stage right now. Does that mean you should always do it? No, but <clears throat> you gotta guide, you gotta do this with yourself and guide yourself on, on hey, today I need a little kick in the ass. All right, do the caffeine. Um, well, you know when I do do the uh, pump product, what I love about that is that it doesn't get me fired up, even though I drink coffee. It just keeps me at a nice high level of energy. And then when it comes out of my body, it doesn't just come out and I'm like, I need a nap. Like right. a lot of energy drinks, that's why I wasn't drinking them because once- they drop. Yeah, like I drop. Like I need to go to sleep. And so I, I just can't, yeah. But the pump product, it just keeps me nice and leveled out. And even when it comes out of my body, yeah, I don't have that crazy energy, but I still have energy. I don't like go down, no you crash. know. So yeah, just love that. Um, yeah, there we go. We got a, we got a little infit. Um, here's another thing. The reason why I take it so much earlier than the gym, and this is I think again why I take it differently than most is because I take it to get amped way before the gym. Because if I get to the gym, I'm training. Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys understand that. Let me try to say it again. I don't need help in the gym as much as I need help getting to the gym. Bingo. Okay. Yeah, Michael right Hearn there. said that. At three in the morning, it is tired. I've never in 40 years go, I've never said no, but the point is it's just that one one step of saying I ah, forget it and and the pump to in the morning to get me fired up to go to the gym is great for me and that's how I take the product and enhance it for me individually you got to do the same thing and kind of find out what works best for you if it, taking it five minutes before workout works for you great um, hopefully that answered some of you guys' questions I know that you may ask later on and again Matt I am excited it is Monday we're gonna get some sick ass leggies in today and you guys will love this workout. Mo, you ready? I am so ready. So is oh, Shrek is eating her protein meal. She's getting the, the leftovers. <laughs> the leftover games. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> What's with his guns? Shout out to my new sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> we got, what do we got Jeffrey holding there? Leg curls. All right. Uh, we did some eights. Just power through these bad boys. Four sets of eight guys. Stack that thing and throw that up there. Get nasty. Got taken out, so. The whole conversation about what? How you're going heavy. Ah, uh, okay. So we, I guess we had a good conversation, but they had some, uh, some of this music going that Surge likes so much. So I had to, we had to drop the convo. Yeah, you guys can kind of pick up on this. Just power. At times, we're going to explode through that stuff. Slam it heavy as you can. Uh, this one as well? Holy cow. Yeah, I know. So that is the focus right there, that insertion. He got some long legs, doc. Got a round ass. So the one here is we're leaning forward instead of sitting back, pulling the leg underneath and really contract it. Really squeeze it. Like, I guess, you know, closest thing to it is when you're doing a concentration curl and you're really peeking it out. Ooh, Analogy. So, scoot forward, boom. Uh, 
uh, I can see it working. Um, you can also, uh, again, you guys know that this is just for today. This is what we're doing. It's a little switch up. Uh, obviously, you can sit back on this bad boy. You can throw your hands forward. But today, we want to do it this way. I like that. This is just for today. Yeah. I, if you don't say it, maybe they don't they don't comprehend it. But you can see we just stacked it again. Now, done enough heavy stuff. My hamstrings were toasted. So we're doing a little switch up here. And here is more of an isolation. We'll come around the side and you'll say, well, this is just leg curls. There's nothing different about this. There's a chance we might show you two different variations of how to do this. And you'll see the lower knee is pulling backwards. So I'm moving the leg back compared to the ass up, and this is how they normally do it. So the last couple of reps there you can kind of see is how you typically do it. And, and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it just doesn't get me the isolation on what I'm trying to work for the day. So this is getting the isolation. I'm on stage, so I just really want to feel it right there, that, that tie-in, that nice, that there's no more fat there. The glute goes right into the hamstring compared to the ass out and the meat of the hamstring. Both are great, though. Serge would recommend the second one because Serge is an advanced trainer at Gold's Gym Venice. Shout out. Shout out to my boy, Serge. If you guys are going to Gold's Gym Venice and you need a trainer, ask for Serge up front. He only usually trains celebrity, uh, celebrities, sorry, um, singers, usually female, sexy. Celebrities and dumb dudes. Ooh, uh, so little straight leg deadlift. What? Yeah, little straight leg deadlift. It's the set next. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more because I'm touching the bottom of the machine. So a little bit more of a stretch. Great thing about this is there's no back work on this. I know that it looks like there's a back work, but my body's flexed, yes. But it's the hip thrust in that gets the weight to go up. Hip thrust in, boom, drive it home. So that's really what's going on here. And again, if this is too much or you, or you feel it in the back, then Wrap it up. yeah, move on to something else. Oh, you know we got him in here. Look at this. What is that, seven wheels? Or as the kids call it, 14 wheels? That's seven. That's seven wheels, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed today. Please let us know what you would like to see next. This dryout is kicking ass. Cannot wait till you, I tell you all the little details we're doing on this dryout that's different than the original. What else we got, Jeffrey, here? You got some just food You just up. killing it? You got some food. Food, food. And that stuff works? No voiceover for that? That stuff works. Dang. Mona all talking loud. After our workout, Bye, guys. Day, uh, this is going to be your post-workout meal. Steak, again, 50, 50. Again, good carbs, good proteins. Great meal for the post-workout. Um, also, you can do your protein drink, but if you got a meal, do the meal. Especially if you're off-season. If you're cutting, then most likely you're just doing the protein drink after the workout. And then a couple hours later, having a meal. With that being said, I'm gonna have one. Mona, as you guys know, eats the same amount as I do, but today I'm gonna max up, max out. You ain't maxing out. Up. I'm having both. Right now, post-workout. Mamacita. We're not gonna even wait until we get home, are we? No, I'm right starving. now. Eating right now. The good thing about the gym is... Really good thing. It says no fish and no popcorn and this might yeah. crack you know why? Because the whole white it's gonna smell like fish. But the popcorn, I disagree. I think we should tap it no, the popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn smells great. Yeah. Oh, popcorn. you know you know what it was? Everyone kept burning it. Oh yeah, that's that's what the reason was. Because no one can cook it right. Yeah, so and then the whole gym smelled. Yeah. Guys. Their body. <laughs> fair, fair point. Fair point. It's so easy. You could bring this anywhere. If you travel, I can meals will send you the food to your hotel, to your location, whatever. It's so easy, it's just a button away. Make sure you get your meals in. The most important thing when it comes to health is nutrition. Before even working out, before even doing cardio. So make sure that you stay on your nutrition. I got meals that's custom meals as well. So
So let's say that you don't eat red meat or you know, certain things, you could just email them and they'll customize your meals for your liking. And this is a minute, it looks like. I hope that you brought up the spoons. You did, huh? Let's see that. Daddy, Daddy's not gonna share. I do not share. But mommy will. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hot. Gotta get the Gang mushrooms, rice, steak, teriyaki, golden. After the workout. Let's not forget the onion, man. That makes the meal. I'm yeah, gonna sauteed onion on top. Look at that, Jeffrey. Yeah. Just enough rice. So 52 grams of protein in this baby. Kaboom! You don't need anything else after the workout. Please, please. Well, maybe you. In, in Mike's case, you might need another burrito. Today I am. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Spiker. You're, you're gonna get the leftovers. Hey, Jeffrey, mm -hmm. what up? I'm gonna leave this on the snow. So when I grew up, one of the big things was uh, your body can only utilize 30 grams of protein. Yes. Well, that's. That's relative to the individual. Say that no, again. But that's on an average. <laughs> so when I grew up, again, 30 grams for the average. But if this guy's been eating and he's a big guy, he's probably more than that. So it's like 50. So I'm always around 50. But now the new age people are going, hey, I'm going to eat one time a day and take in a large amount of calories. And so did that whole theory just get thrown out and your body could utilize 200 grams of protein in one meal? Well, as long as it's for the day. Nuts one sitting and then your body utilizes it and then gets hungry again and goes but I'm just curious I don't want to say what my opinion is I want to hear what you guys think Do you guys like the idea of one meal a day or how much your body uh, how much protein can your body do average I don't want you guys to start saying well it's 30 for everybody right we're not even we're not even born even so let's not let's not go that route um, so for the average person, is it 30 grams? What do you guys think? Or is there no such thing and you can utilize whatever you eat for that meal? And it depends on a 24 hour clock, not a one sitting clock. It's always so odd to me that people think. But let me know, guys. Have a good day.